how to make these little geeklets if you want to call them that because I've got the calendar here the date here the time here up time here which is how long it's been up for without any shutdown you want to call it that uh, how much hard drive space I've used the CPU and the RAM also the iTunes at the moment it's paused and that was what how long the song is that it's paused for I'll show you it working here playing do you remember Jay Sean okay to start this tutorial I'm just gonna start blank so I'm going to another desktop and I will just start it blank Okay, so what you're going to need is a program called Geek Tool, which is easily downloadable off um, the Mac App Store. So, first, we're going to start off with the calendar, which is very simple. So, open up Geek Tool. By the way, all of these scripts will be in the. Uh, description but the command for this is very easy in the command line you should type in cow as in calendar but short and refresh every whatever you want it to do but because this is a monthly calendar I'm just going to put like 6,000 seconds and it will come up with this little calendar here you can change the font and the font size so in this I am using comic book which you can download, the link is in the description. And just put it wherever you want. And that was very easy, that was our first command. Right, now what we're going to need is the time. So to get the time. I will go onto my Mac forums page. The link of this will be in the description. I have made it so I don't have to show you all of the commands and you don't have to write them yourself. It's by Apple Maniac, is what my name is. And here is my desktop. Right, so what we're going to get first is the day so copy the day script and go back to geek tool and now what you're going to want to do is make a new shell and you're going to want to paste that script there and because it's a day I'm going to put like 600 6,000 seconds again and it will come up with what day it is Okay, again, change your font and everything. And the size, and put it where you want. There, and now, as you can see, we now have the day. So, my next one is going to be this what the day's number is or whatever you want to call it so go back to the website and get the date code now go back to geek tool and add another shell and paste that code in it Okay, and because this is a day again, about 6,000 seconds will do. And as you can see, it comes up with the day number, change the font size, and what type of font it is.
and there we have our front number and now all we need is the month just go on to geek to go on to mac forums link will be in the description for this particular page i've made and copy the month code and now make a new shell and paste in that code and it will come up okay so this one I'm not sure how to get the shortened version so it has to be quite small to be able to fit in so basically what you're going to want to do is need a small font or maybe make your O2 small but this is how to get it but you don't have to fit it in a certain place so I'm just going to put it here anywhere like across the screen here yeah and there's the, the month the calendar of the month the day and the day basically <laughs> oh. and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to also now we move on to the time which I am putting into this right here so go on to Mac forums and get the time code and do the same again paste it in now you've got the time now change the font to whatever you want and yeah it will be there but as you can see you don't know whether it's am or pm so we'll get that code next okay so go on to mac forums and copy the am and pm code that i have made and now you're going to want to drag a new script again no shell and it should say you can see it just a mini am and pm i'm going to make this massive well not massive but I'm going to make it a bit bigger than it is in the picture and put it next to it so you can see it see here it is AM is 10.37 AM right now okay now we need the up time which is basically how long your Mac has been up for the code in here did not work for me, it worked the first time but not the second time, but it should work for you. I will try it again for this purpose, and you drag it here, and you just paste it in, and it did work for me this time, which is very lucky. And as you can see, my Mac has currently not been shut down in one hour and nine minutes. Now, I'm going to set this to about 60 seconds, that's uh, no, about 10 seconds, so it updates a lot. Also, you want to change your time to about 10 seconds. I've got my time in 3 seconds, so I'm just going to put it on 3 seconds. The AM, not really that much, because that is, it doesn't really need to matter. So mine's about... 200 and as you can see it just disappeared That's funny it's because I typed it into the command anyway you know how to do that so I'm going to leave that one out um, if you want the title like I had up time here on my picture you just make a new shell by clicking and dragging it and you type in title in the overwrite and then you tick the overwrite text box and it comes up with the title so set the font and you've got it like that now it says up time and the time it's been up now the hard drive space is a hard one if you have mac os lion i have now updated it for a mac os lion script if you don't have lion what you're going to need to do is go to the bottom of Mac forums. If you do have Lion, you, you can just get this. 
code and copy it and paste it but if you have snow leopard or lower get this code it's at the bottom of the script or message if you want to say that okay and now I just paste it in this is the Mac lying code and type in about every three about six thousand seconds you can refresh them anytime you want by just clicking on them just to let you know and change the font right as you can see in Mac forums I did include the percentage code but you can easily edit it yourself because I didn't include the snow leopard percentage code to get the snow leopard percentage code all you need to do is click these three dots here and change the dollar four to dollar five and then you just press yes I want to save and it will come up with the percentage so for the moment I'll just get rid of that and put it back to my normal for which I do have and then make a new one for that so basically you can just paste the same script edit it in here and just change the four to a five and yes save changes and it comes up with the script it comes up with the percentage as you can see it's there I'm done now what we need to do now is this box here you can put them anywhere you like I've just got this background if you want this background I will put the download link in the description now we need the CPU this is a hard one for lion and I've only got the lion code for it but this will still work on snow leopard so this is a very long code Let's copy it and drag a new shell to where you want to put it and press the three dots to start off and just paste it all there because it's a very long code and now press yes and it should come up with your CPU and as you can see it's come up with mine and it says zero for some weird reason it's been doing that for quite a while but it should work on yours because it worked yesterday on mine I just need to edit the code a bit right and there is the CPU now what we need to do is get the what is next we need to get the RAM so the title RAM is very easy I taught you how to do that on uptime and the RAM code is just this code let's copy and paste that code top minus one whatever it is and paste well drag the shell there paste it in set the refresh every to whatever you want and then set the font you are done all we need to do now is the iTunes which is a bit harder to script so I am going to teach you how to do that in my next tutorial the links will be at the bottom thank you for watching